assorted vegetables, and other pinky machiners. We should really come up with a name for whatever you guys are gonna be. Humanoid life forms. Thank you, Blood Brain. Always a helpful one you are. Hello. Oh, yes. Uh, quite. <laughs> Hello, humanoid life forms. Sorry, aliens, you're not included in that statement. Be on your way. So, today we are going to be talking about my Legends of Ninjago thing, because it recently occurred to me that, you know, as more people are starting to find the channel, and actually quite a few of you who already are affiliated with the channel, don't actually know what on earth is going on with this thing. So, hello, this is, this is the thing I'm doing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to be answering some questions that a lot of you have been asking. Well, some of you have been asking, and a handful of you have been asking. Yeah. Actually, none of you have been asking. I've, I've got some of these questions. You stay out of this, blood rain. All interruptions aside. <laughs> Let's start with the basic question, shall we? What exactly is Legends of Ninjago? Well, you'll be happy to hear, and I'll be happy to say, that Legends of Ninjago is an ongoing fanfiction novel series written by me. It follows the same basic plot as the TV show Lego Ninjago, but I've added my own unique twists and turns, so, uh... Yeah, it's not, it, it's not this exact same plot, but it follows the basic outline. And also, I would just like to address, you do not have to be a fan of Ninjago in order to have fun with this series. I am starting over at the beginning, so if you want to get to know the story and the crew and all of what happens in Ninjago, feel free to start with book one. It starts at level zero to make it easier for everyone to enjoy it. You don't have to be a fan, you don't have to know anything about Ninjago to start reading the series. Second question being, does this mean that there will be more mature themes in the story? Well, in some ways, yes, but probably not in the way that you're thinking or that the term mature <laughs> entails. There'll just be more story arcs revolving around subjects like depression, post-traumatic stress, grief, and other more quote-unquote mature themes. But the stories are intended for anyone 12 to 24-ish. I won't judge. So, and the next question I get pretty much the most is, Who are Anjing and Keaton Haruto? Ah oh, yes, the question everyone's been asking. Okay, so Anne and Keaton were characters that I remember reading about in another fanfiction years ago, back before season five had come out. I remember that because this was before we knew who the real water ninja was. Anyway, I fell in love with the characters and decided to use them in my own story. However, these girls are a far cry from their original descriptions, believe you me. Oh, yeah. The, I think uh, Ann Ching's name was different, and she had something going on where she had, like, glowing prehensile hair or something, and, like, Keaton's... Keaton had something weird, but I forget what it was. Yeah. And uh, if any of you are, like, curious as to what this fanfiction was, or, you know, that you want to read it for yourselves... I'm sorry, I can't find it. <laughs> I, I went back and looked for it recently, but either I misremembered what it was called, or the author of it took it down, but I cannot find it, so I'm sorry. Anyway, so the two girls are sisters. Uh, they are They have a pretty big age gap between them, so Anne has kind of taken on more of a motherly role, and Keaton has taken on more of this cute, fun-loving little girl kind of role. Um, but they're both students of Sensei Wu's, and they are extremely skilled ninja. So they, they are students before the boys come and train to be ninja. Now why did I decide to add these two characters? Well, to help out Nia. See, the boys have their whole unit, and they play off of each other, and they grow, you know, as iron sharpens iron, blah, 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 blah. Nia doesn't really have that luxury. She's just the odd one out most of the time, and she doesn't even have any kind of friendship bonding with Pixel. So her whole character basically revolves being a girl, being the water ninja, and being Jay's girlfriend. And then for some reason she can also, like, do high-tech engineering stuff, which is... 
So, I feel like having the girls around helps to give Nia someone to play off of and have more character dynamics. And also, um, I just felt like the boys would not have been able to do half the things in the show, realistically on their own at least. So having fellow students who are their age, who can be part of the main cast and aren't the sensei teacher master figure who will eventually die, felt like a convenient way to help, you know, have them c accomplish great feats of whatever and have it be somewhat reasonable. Oh, and I should mention before we go any further. So just a disclaimer, I am not rewriting this because I think the show is bad or anything. And I'm not even saying that this is a perfect rewrite of the show because it's Probably not. This is just one idea of what a rewrite of the show could look like. That I'm just having fun with it. If you want to have fun with me, I suggest checking it out. But, like, what are Anne and Keaton's backstories and why do they have air and water powers? I would love to answer that, except that would be revealing spoilers. So, no spoilers for you. I suggest you read the books. Winky face. <laughs> What's the point of writing this fanfic if you're just going to tell the same story? Okay, so here's the full in-depth answer. Don't get me wrong, I love the original series. It's been with me for forever. But as the show goes on, and as I continue to grow up, I've just realized a few things. One, putting on an episode of the show is great for relaxing and maybe a laugh, but the world building is so shallow. And I've been having a harder time getting into it because of that. But again, that's just me. That's my preference. I am a story kind of person. I'm in it for the world building and the character development and the plot, which Ninjago has had less and less of. It's, it's a love-hate relationship. Two, there's so much wasted potential. Holy cow. The writers have done an amazing job setting up a world and story that are creative and engaging and interesting, but there is no follow through or decent continuity for that matter. There are a ton of things that they could have done with the show, but didn't. I would say more, but then I'd be revealing more spoilers. Three, the continuity problems. One perfect example. At first, the boys don't have powers, they just use the golden weapons. Then Lloyd gives them his powers, but then in season four, we learn that lots of other people have elemental powers, and that somehow the boys were born with the powers, and they were passed down from their parents, and subsequent hundreds of generations of elemental masters? And that's just one example of the incontinuity that we have here. <laughs> And then four, the characters are just kind of lacking in depth in their personalities and relationships. In short, it's a kid's show. Big surprise. But the thing is, it could be so much more than that if it was given the chance to shine, which is what I want to let it do. One, I want to expand the universe and stories with more complicated themes, high stakes battles, and layers of mysterious plot twists to make it more engaging for older fans like myself. Two, I'm going to capitalize on all of the wasted potential and craft new stories and twists to make my plot unique and new. Three, I'm going to fix all the continuity problems as best as I can, and if I goof up, please tell me so I can go ahead and fix it. Four, I'm going to deep dive into each character's personality, flaws, struggles, and relationships to make them feel more real, relatable, and add more emotional stakes to the story. I realize that I might be taking this too seriously, but that's kind of the point here, to write a story that fans can take more seriously, you dig? All right, next question. Does this mean that you're gonna write every season? Yes. As well as the Day of the Departed special and a handful of other shorter stories that I'm gonna be writing all on my own. And to those who have also added on, are you gonna be rewriting future seasons, which at the time of this recording includes seasons 14 and 15? Yes. I can't promise that I'm gonna be doing these forever, but let me just say this, I do have plans that reach up to season 13. And hopefully I will also do seasons 14, 15 and whatever else the show throws at us. Next question. Where can I read Legends of Ninjago? Great question. 
You can read it on my website, pinkymachine.wixsite.com slash pinkymachine. You can read it on fanfiction.net. My username is still just Pinky Machine. And I'm also on Wattpad. That's, I find it weird to say it like that. That's a weird name. Or you can watch it on YouTube. Although, I started out doing the YouTube videos thinking like, oh, I'm eventually going to be able to get up to like animation and have it be a really cool show type thing. I was wrong. I was putting way too much energy into those things and my other videos have been suffering because of it. So those are going to turn into more like audiobooks as we continue to go on, unfortunately. <clears throat> but uh, I'd love to put in more effort to the theme songs, so that'll be fun. How many books are out right now? So at the time of this recording, which is October 2020, the first book is out in its entirety, and the second book is, uh, I guess you could say it's streaming <laughs> on all of my platforms. Uh, I release new chapters every single Saturday, and yeah, right now we're up to chapter... Four should be released today. The time of this video is released anyway. But what about Nia? She's the real water ninja. How come Anne has her powers? Rest assured, I do not plan on forgetting about the show's most iconic leading lady. There was a very good reason as to why I decided to make this change, but to divulge any more information would mean giving away spoilers for future books. For now, I plan on making Nia shine in other ways, but that's not to say she's less than Anne. She is definitely the most important gal in the cast, okay? Next question. Why did you change the shuriken's device to daggers? Great question. You see, on my path to make the story a wee bit more realistic, I studied up on real life ninja as best as I could, including the weapons they used. Now, shurikens were definitely part of their arsenal, 100%, but the shurikens of ice make very little sense because shurikens essentially are one-use weapons, most of the time at least. Meaning you throw them, they hit their target, and maybe you get them back. They do not float in the air or come back to you like a boomerang. Knives and daggers were also in the ninja's repertoire, and they were generally more reusable. Besides, you can't fight with shurikens the way Kai fights with a sword, as they tried to make it seem in the show. They are used purely for long-range attacks and assassinations. While we're on this topic, uh, I also thought about changing Cole's scythe to a warhammer, because hammers make more sense. <laughs> but. It turns out, uh, Warhammers are actually European. Meanwhile, there were some accounts of people using war scythes in ancient Japan, though there were very few. So that would have been an unnecessary change, and besides, I took a poll and no one wanted the hammer. How can we, as readers, uh, react to you and give you feedback? Wonderful question. I love getting comments from you guys the most. Whether it be on fanfiction, on Wattpad, on YouTube, or my website, whichever. Just leave me a comment. Just, like, what was your favorite part of a specific chapter or story? Or what parts do you think were kind of, like, weak or need work? Go ahead, point out the mistakes, and tell me what things that you really loved so I can, you know, keep doing it. It helps me to understand what I'm doing right and what I need to work on. So, yeah, that's about all I got as far as general questions are concerned. Those are all the basic ones. If you all have any more questions, uh, comment down below, and uh, I can make a part two to this video. So, yeah! Hopefully, uh, you'll all check it out, and you'll enjoy it, and give me some good feedback. And when I say good feedback, I don't just mean praise it and blah blah blah. I just mean give me some real, real feedback. What do you honestly think of it? Because we all like honesty here. Yeah! Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you are not subscribed already, first of all, how dare you? Second of all, how dare you? Hit that subscribe button. Become part of this weird family, whatever we're calling it. And like the video. Make that thumb button happy. Yeah! Thank you for watching. Have a loverly day, and uh, have a nice life.